All right, we are on the record. Uh, we have motions. I think the primary one we're going to de deal with this morning is the reinstatement of the third-degree murder charge. I had uh, denied the motion to reinstate, uh, saying that the newer case was not precedential at that time. And that was the sole reason for the denial of the motion. That was appealed to the Court of Appeals, which said no, it had immediate precedential value. Judgment had not been entered yet. Uh, petition for review was taken by the defendant. The Supreme Court has denied review, remanded it back to the Court of Appeals, who then entered judgment. So judgment has been entered. When intent is directed at a single person, this is a legal principle that they've established now as precedent, then third degree uh, may apply. Single uh, acts directed at a single person fall within the gambit of murder in the third degree. And as I said, that was part of their holding. It is not dictum. Accordingly, I am bound by that. I have to apply the rule. Even though they are factually different, I have to follow the rule that the Court of Appeals has put in place, specifically that murder in the third degree applies even if the person's uh, intent and acts are directed at a single person.